Vincent van Gogh. Cottage and Woman with Goat, 1885. Chapter 1, Quest for the Nest. My name is Peter de Groot, and I am up a tree. How'd I get here? Let me explain. In 1885, I was 11 years old and living in a small cottage in the Netherlands with my family. We didn't have very much money, and life was hard. But a couple years earlier, an artist had moved to town. His name was Vincent van Gogh. Although I didn't know, he would become one of the greatest artists ever. Van Gogh had come to our part of the world to try his hand at art. He liked to paint pictures of our cottage, which was strange because it wasn't a very nice house. Even though he didn't grow up poor, Van Gogh wore ragged clothes and a straw hat. One day, he paid me to bring him some empty bird's nests. Soon, I was off climbing tall trees to find nests. I brought the nest to his studio. It was filled with paintings of people at work, weaving, planting seeds, and mending fishing nets. He had even painted my sister, Gordina. He told me he sends his best work to his brother, Theo, to sell. Theo was an art dealer in Paris. So far, Theo had not sold a single one. I felt bad for him and invited him to come to my house for dinner. I warned him that we, had, we only had potatoes to eat, but he would be welcome. Not to worry, Peter, he said. I love potatoes. Head of a peasant woman with white cap and still life with three birds' nests, both 1885. Chapter 2, My Family's Famous Dinner A few weeks later, as I was bringing him more nests, he saw me and yelled, Peter, get in here, you must see this. He led me to an easel, and there was a painting of my family at the dinner table. He truly captured our life at home except our heads were shaped a little strange. I think this is my first masterpiece. I call it the potato eaters, the artist exclaimed. Van Gogh must have done 200 paintings during those months. Many were of the peasant people he had grown to love. He'd always send them off to Paris, but Theo still had no luck selling any. Theo worried about the dark colors he used. They were not as colorful as the paintings being sold in Paris. One day, Van Gogh told me it was time for him to move on. He was headed to a place called Antwerp. There, he would study the use of color he saw in the museum's paintings. We said goodbye, but he promised he would write to me. Miners' Wives Carrying Sacks of Coal, 1882 Bridges Across the Seine at as near as Sen at a near. 1887. Chapter 3. Moving to Paris. Months later, I got a letter from Paris. Come to Paris, Peter, Van Gogh wrote. I need an assistant. Theo will pay you. It will be a great adventure. And before you could say no more potatoes, I was on a train heading for the most exciting city in the world. Once there, I saw that Van Gogh had thrown himself into his art. He studied the great painters Henri de Toulouse, Lautrec, Edgar Degas, and Claude Monet. His style became brighter and more colorful. He used vibrant yellows, blues, and bright oranges. He painted street scenes, portraits of fellow artists, and still lifes of books and fruit. I helped him stretch canvases to paint and even cooked his meals. He often went days without eating and started to weaken. Vincent grew cranky, having done 200 more paintings without Theo being able to sell a single one. My master started painting many pictures of himself. He looked sad in them. Something had to change. So in 1888, he packed up his paints and me and moved to the south of France. On the outskirts of Paris, 1887. Sower with the Setting Sun, Arliss, and Portrait of Camille Roulin, 1888. Chapter 4, Painting Dreams. 
We moved into a bright yellow house in Arles, near Paris. His friend, the famous painter, Paul Gauguin, moved in. And soon Van Gogh was painting with new energy. Every day we would hike out to the countryside, where he would create bright and colorful paintings of haystacks, or sunflowers, or wheat fields. I made friends with a postman's son named Camille Ruin. He would sometimes come with us on our painting expeditions. Van Gogh painted his portrait, too, in fact. Van Gogh painted everybody in Camille's family. Van Gogh's paintings became more like those of the famous painters called Impressionists. The paintings were more colorful, with swirling, thin brush strokes. They showed the light and weren't exact copies of what the artist saw. Watching him paint a bridge one day, I asked Vincent how he made such stunning paintings. He thought about it and replied, I dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. As those painted dreams got better and better, he did not sleep or eat enough. People noticed how ill he looked. He argued with his friends. Some people thought his mind wasn't right, but I didn't believe it. He was creating so much beauty. Cafe Terrace at Night, 1888. Chapter 5. A Star in the Night. But Vincent wasn't okay. Things got so bad, Vincent went to a hospital for help. I visited him, I visited him in the hospital one night. While looking out the window, he said to me, Peter, I often think that the night is more alive and more richly colored than the day. And he proved it by painting one of his most famous works, The Starry Night, while in the hospital. The Starry Night, 1889. Vincent continued to paint, but he was not feeling better, even though Theo finally sold one of Vincent's paintings. It was called The Red Vineyard at Arles. It was the only painting of Van Gogh's that sold during his lifetime. Self-Portrait with Gray Felt Hat, 1887, above, and The Red Vineyard of Arles, 1888. A few months later, Vincent died. He was just 37 years old. Vincent Van Gogh came to be known as one of the greatest artists who ever lived. Though he was only a painter for 10 years, he produced more than 2,000 drawings and paintings that showed the beauty of nature and humanity. Bedroom in Arles, second version, 1889, and the church at auvers sur oise 1890. Sunflowers, fourth version, 1888, Wheatfield with Crows, 1890, and self-portrait as an artist, 1888. What happened to me? As a reward for my help, Van Gogh left me three paintings. They still hang on my wall to remind me of my brush with greatness. Timeline, 1853. Vincent Van Gogh is born in Groot Zundert, Holland, the Netherlands, on March 30. 1857. Vincent's brother, Theo, Theodorus is born on May 1st. They have three sisters and one other brother. 1869. Vincent van Gogh starts working for an art gallery, Gruppel and C in The Hague. His job takes him to London and Paris. 1876. Van Gogh teaches English for a while and then becomes a preacher in Belgium. 1880. He decides to become a painter. Theo supports him. 1885. He completes The Potato Eaters. 1886. He moves to Paris, where he meets Impressionist painters. His style becomes brighter and more colorful. It will become known as Post-Impressionist. 1888. Van Gogh moves to Aries, France, to start an art school. He begins suffering from ill health. 1890. Van Gogh dies on July 29th. He is buried at auvers sur oise Country Road in Province by Night.